he dropped you off at school that day, is that right? Yeah. Anderson is the 10-year-old son of Jesus Peraza. Two weeks ago, after dropping Anderson off at school, Peraza was arrested by Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents. When did you find out that he had been detained? When, when my uncle went to pick me up, she, he told me. Peraza was targeted under the new crackdown on immigrants by the Trump administration. He's been in the U.S. without legal documentation for 10 years has a job, is married, and has a family. If there's any other reason that an ICE agent thinks that they might be a threat, they can also arrest them. Whereas under Obama, it was, they were clearly instructed to target people who had been convicted of crimes. Peraza has no criminal conviction. His lawyer believes an old deportation order has now been activated. He's being held in jail. We filed a stay with ICE asking them to release him and to stop trying to deport him given the fact that he has a family here, United States born child, and that he is a good man, and they immediately rejected it. Peraza is seeking asylum. He's from Honduras and witnessed a murder in one of the world's most violent cities. So far, the request has been rejected. He's seeking review by a judge. We spoke with his wife. She is also undocumented. Is he worried? Está preocupado, Jesús? Sí, porque él era el, el que nos mantenía y ahora no sabe qué hacer. Yes, because he was the one that was providing for the family and now he doesn't know what to do while he's in jail. Peraza has letters of support from the principal of his son's school. You miss your dad? Yes, a lot. Immigration authorities confirm that it was a an, an deportation order that dates all the way back to March of 2005 that serves as the basis for the arrest that was made on March 9th, just two weeks ago. It was not acted upon until now. Reporting live from Southeast Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.